Choices, Stories You Play leaves me very conflicted. If you're a fan of visual novels, but want something with more of a western flair and without the anime visuals, this app has you covered. There's a fantasy storyline, mysteries, and a boatload full of more traditional romance options. I previewed the first chapter of the first book in the fantasy trilogy, as well as the first chapter of a supernatural thriller, the latter of which I actually started to get pulled in by. None of the writing here goes beyond Lifetime Channel original movie quality, but to be honest, that's kind of what you're here for. If you're interested in choices, stories you play, you aren't looking for Mass Effect or The Witcher. You're looking for goofy, sometimes downright laughable, but still somewhat charming romantic stories with unique twists. While the narratives themselves aren't going to impress a literature buff, they are charming in their own strange way. They're riddled with overly dramatic lines and are practically swimming in cliches, yet somehow it works. For instance, the stories I played had a strong vocabulary and decent pacing when you'd expect simply, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey level of hack writing. There's also nice little touches, like different facial art for reactions based on your choices, and shifts in musical score within each scene. It also runs remarkably well with virtually non-existent load times and responsive control inputs. Choices nails all the right things while playing up its so-bad-it's-good romance fiction in the best way possible. Now if only the choices weren't locked behind a pay gate. No, I'm not kidding. I, I can't make this up. This is a visual novel app that will nickel and dime you just to have access to the right choices. These can range from wearing a certain outfit to outright choosing whether or not to save someone's life. To go back to an earlier example, imagine playing Mass Effect. But the only way to not shoot your companion Rex and ensure his species regains its honor is to pay two Microsoft points right there and then. You'd feel like the game was shaking you down, wouldn't you? Well, that's what Choices does in every single story. It can happen at any point without warning, and the initial currency they give you is only good enough for about two choices. While you slowly earn additional diamonds by beating chapters, that's an incredibly tedious process given how slowly you earn them and how long most chapters are to play through. So what this means is you have a choice between playing with less than ideal choices until you've saved up enough diamonds to EARN an ideal playthrough, or you have to cough up the dough. Ironically, unlocking new chapters to play through only requires taking a break every few hours, which is totally reasonable. In fact, I think it might be more ideal to charge for chapters than choices. I mean, that pricing model already exists with Telltale's various adventure games, and these stories are clearly made on a fraction of the budget, so why not do that? It'd be a total win for developer Pixelberry. I can see someone paying $2 for another chapter in this. That's completely fair. Making them have to pay just to have a choice? That feels a lot less on the level. Regardless, Choices Stories You Play is a surprisingly enjoyable campy ride. I'm just not sure I'd recommend investing serious cash into this one unless you find a few stories you really enjoy and you want to see what the best outcome could possibly be. It's a solid visual novel platform, but its freemium elements definitely need some work.